Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. Happy to be connecting with you today. It is a Thursday. Today is the 8th of February 2018. And today, for those new just scrolling through, want to know what this is about, we're going to be focusing on depression, its association with the fire element, and some natural approaches to alleviating it a bit. So if that sounds of interest to you, I encourage you to stick around. <clears throat> As always with each of the live streams, uh, I do these Monday through Thursday. They're about an hour. And uh, they're always loaded with the wisdom and teachings of Dr. and Master Shaw, who is an amazing soul. Here's a picture of him. Uh, he has about 20 or so books. Uh, many have reached New York Times bestseller. And he speaks about the subject of soul. <clears throat> and how when you heal things at the level of soul first, the mind and body will follow. So just as with the condition of depression, there is a root cause. There is a soul-related cause. We're going to be touching a bit on that today as well. So I hope you're able to stick around. If you're not, I do encourage you to <clears throat> um, like and subscribe, and you'll know when I go live again. And also, because you like, you can always come back to my Facebook page and watch any of the recorded videos okay so I hope that I can serve you in that way as well some people prefer podcasts so if you follow the links above the video um, that will take you to my page and if you go to my blog you'll find that I always post the podcasts there for everybody to watch so <coughs> excuse me um, so thank you all for joining hopefully you've had a good week uh, we started out earlier this week with the subject of, well, on Monday, we started actually with the subject of awakening, really, awakening to uh, how to deal with the current life conditions and the possibility of crisis, how to deal with it from a spiritual perspective. And that was actually a very heavy topic, not an easy one for me to discuss, uh, but it was filled with great wisdom. So I encourage you to watch that one if you missed it. And then Tuesday we covered the subject of fear and its association to the water element. Yesterday we, we discussed anger and its association with the wood element. Today we're discussing depression and its association with the fire element. And so that's what you can expect <coughs> for those that stick around. So let's see who's joined us. Welcome uh, Vanessa, welcome Rianne. Aloha and welcome Phyllis and aloha Larissa. Welcome also to Brenda Chung and Aloha Nicole. Aloha Kathy Arnold, Carol Whitney, and NC. Welcome Janice Crosby and Pamela Johnson. Welcome also to Sarah MacArthur Ingborg. Aloha Katie Nada. Aloha Bulia. I hope I didn't destroy your name too much. Welcome Susan Birchmore. Aloha and welcome Gordon. Sherry White and Sharon Matatino. Aloha. Welcome also to Lisa Carter, <coughs> and welcome to uh, Heather McNee, Nola Curtis, and welcome Carly Ferguson. I think maybe there's one or one or more persons that I missed. Hopefully, I didn't. <coughs> and so, uh, while we prepare, uh, wait for other people to come. Let's go ahead and prepare. Place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position. It's a hand mudra position, like a prayer. We just simply drop the left hand in front of the heart center and remain connected. There we go, reposition just a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> so close your eyes and I will invite in the beings of light and connect us. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of divine, the Tao, the source, the soul of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. All beings of light, including stars, planets, galaxies, universes, Mother Earth. The soul of all angels, healing angels, archangels, ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifu, saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus, beloved Mother Mary, beloved Nam Omitofu, beloved Kuan Yin, and more. We love you all, honor you all, respect you all, and I bow my head to each of you with the deepest gratitude. <clears throat> I ask most humbly and sincerely for your presence today in whatever way is most appropriate to bless each and every one of us, to further awaken our understanding 
of the condition of depression, its association with the fire element, and bless us not only to have this deeper understanding, but how to clear these related blockages as much as possible. I am extremely grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please turn on. <clears throat> As we chant love, peace, and harmony, I invite you to please radiate your love to all souls in humanity in one ling. And we invite all souls in humanity and in all universes to chant with us. For any people that are new, this is a mantra. It is a healing mantra. You can make a request. So let us chant together to serve. <coughs> Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, 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 Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, <coughs> and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you all for coming. Please hit the share button and let other people know about today. <clears throat> and so welcome also to uh, Karen Mahoney. Welcome Heather Clem. Welcome Deanna Victoria. <clears throat> welcome Missy Dodd. Welcome Don Robinson and Aloha Jim. Welcome also to Nikki Gabardi. Thank you all for joining. Thank you <coughs> for sharing as well. So today, actually, I'm feeling a little bit better than yesterday. My lungs have released a bit, and uh, so I won't be clear my throat as much in your ear. Again, I apologize about that. Um, welcome, Lisa Zarniak. So the subject matter today is depression and the fire element and their association. So this will follow some of the wisdom and teachings of the last few days. If you missed those, I encourage you to go back. Yesterday was, uh, um, uh, not excuse me, yesterday, yeah. The day before yesterday was the fear element, uh, fear and the water element. And yesterday was anger and the wood element. And today is depression and the fire element. <clears throat> so maybe you're starting to see a theme. Uh, water element, wood air element, fire element, metal element. Earth element. These are all different elements associated with different organ system, body parts, and emotions. They are based in traditional Chinese medicine. Welcome Griselda, welcome Lorraine. Uh, and one key, very important understanding, is to understand that they work together. So there's an order amongst these elements. Wood, fire, earth, metal, water. Repeat. Wood, fire, earth, metal, water. One more time. Wood, fire, earth, metal, water. Well, we did water, and then we did wood, and now I'm doing fire. So what is the interconnectivity? Well, in, in traditional Chinese medicine, they have different names for it, uh, but it's, it's like a mothering, a supportive nature. Uh, it can also be in reverse. The mothering supportive nature is wood feeds the fire. Fire breaks down things which then become part of Mother Earth. Mother is the holder and nurturer of metal. Metal, when formed, can hold and carry water. Water feeds and nourishes wood. Wood 
feeds and nourishes fire, and the circle goes around. So if there is imbalance in any one of these five elements, then it affects the other. How can wood be healthy and growing if there has no water? How can a fire burn if there is no wood? How can the earth uh, receive the, the uh, new life when the fire breaks things down and creates new life? How can earth receive new life if there is no fire? And so forth. And so everything is interconnected. And so this is one of the beautiful aspects of traditional Chinese medicine. It never takes an organ or a system or even an emotion and separates it out and says that it is completely separate and has nothing to do with anything else. In the Americas, there's a specialist for your kidneys, there's a specialist for your throat, there's a specialist for your eyes. But in traditional Chinese medicine, for the wood element, the eyes are related. They're related to the, to the gallbladder, they're related to the liver, they're related to the emotion of anger. So there is a lot of association in the Eastern philosophies, and there is zero association in the Western philosophies. So in the West, we have a lot to learn. And so I tell you this so you have a good understanding, an important base understanding that if, for example, you have excessive anger or excessive fear or depression, it doesn't mean that this subject matter that I focus on today is the one and only source of it. It could have to do with uh, you're holding on to a massive amount of anger and maybe you're not an expressive person. Maybe you're a meek and you hold it in internally. Okay, and you're one of those people that your ego works the way where you hold it in and hide it so people are forced to come to you and try to drag it out of you and that's your control. But there's a lot of those people that have massive, massive anger that end up in ex an excessive depression. Okay, and that's because the wood element is negatively impacted. Now, fear might lead into that. Fear could be a fear of having that same thing happen again. So that weakens the kidney. So now you don't have a balance in your water element. So you're not feeding and nourishing your wood element. So you're not able to, to deal with the anger associated with the wood element appropriately. And so then you're uh, fanning the flame of the fire element excessively, causing excessive depression unnecessarily. You start to see the correlation between them. One helps the next. So it's really, really important to um, start dealing with things holistically, not, not so individually. <clears throat> From the holistic uh, perspective, it's not that it's bad to take a pharmaceutical for a depressive condition because it could truly be a chemical imbalance. I'm not, not debating the, the, the actuality of that. The question becomes what created that chemical imbalance? The human body is built to last a thousand years. Now, you might not believe that, but it truly is. What causes it to die off between 50 and 100 years is literally our perceptions, our, our mindsets, attitudes, our beliefs, um, uh, because we are creators. And so we believe that we die in less than 100 years, therefore we do basically. But in the long, long, long ago past, living a thousand years is relatively normal. Um, there are people amongst us today that live several hundred years. You just don't hear about them, so therefore you don't believe it. doesn't mean it's not true. And so the body can live a long time, but we allow our emotions to kill us. We allow uh, outside <clears throat> things outside of us to kill us. We allow basically all those things that we think are out of our control to control us. So there are countless different things that can impact a person's depression. There can be the loss of a loved one that triggers it. There could possibly be a chemical imbalance. And that chemical imbalance could actually be triggered by an allergy to, let's say, wheat, right? Uh, which triggers a cascade of effects in your body that does not allow a certain chemical composition that normally what would would create your brain from disallowing the depression. This is just examples, right? So there could be many different things that trigger a depression, um, but there are also things that keep it in place, that lock it in place. So one of the things about uh, understanding the nature of depression and the fire element from the spiritual perspective, from the five element perspective, is that it is part of what's called the five fire element. 
<clears throat> now the fire element in traditional Chinese medicine, and for those of you that are wondering, I don't have traditional Chinese medicine degree. I have never studied traditional Chinese medicine other than reading a few books, okay, and hearing it from Master Sha. So I am repeating what should be commonplace known information if you read a little bit. Um, not stating I'm a guru in this arena of, of the five elements. Uh, so the fire element uh, includes the heart. It includes the uh, small intestine, which is the paired organ. There's a yin and yang organ. The yin organ is the heart. The yang organ is the small intestine. There's always a paired uh, organ. A lot of people say, what the heck does a small intestine have to do with the heart? Traditional Chinese medicine, they figured it out, okay? So often people with um, heart conditions also have digestive conditions and vice versa. Uh, people who have depressive conditions uh, definitely have excess fire insufficient water. This includes the difficulty in sleeping, fire and water imbalance. Remember, fire is heart. What is water? That's the teachings from Tuesday. Water is your kidneys. So your heart and kidneys are fire and water element, and they offset each other. So if you uh, have insufficient kidney strength because of fear, uh, or you have insufficient kidney strength from other reasons, creating fear, um, the fear could uh, very um, probably affect your sleep uh, and it could affect the chemical um, uh, functionalities which could maintain a depressive condition. There are many other potential variables. Uh, these include external ones, the, the heavy metals in our water, okay? Um, heavy metals are in our water, they're in our food, they're in the air. Uh, there have been tests run. This is 10 years ago. They ran tests on 400 different mothers on their breast milk. And this is in the country of Canada. And this is in across the entire country of Canada. You know, so they didn't say just this one city. The entire country, 400 different breastfeeding mothers. And they found in every one of them jet airline fuel uh, chemical compositions in mother's milk. So it's virtually impossible to avoid uh, the external chemical contaminants that enter our, our air, our blood, our water, our food. Uh, and so these could bring imbalance to our body. So I am not going to sit here and tell you that depression has one source. It has multiple sources. I'm going to give you solutions from the spiritual perspective and the reason why is because when you deal with things from the level of spirituality, from the level of origin, from the level of soul, when you deal with it from that level, you're dealing with it from the source of the cause. <clears throat> the cause could have brought uh, tainted foods or waters to you. The cause, the karmic cause, could have brought chemical imbalances and basically um, dark energies entered your soul and created blockages for you at the level of your body. So you have an, ex an impressive experience at the physical level, emotional level, but it could have been caused by a karmic source. So even though we can list five, six, seven different sources that coagulate together, that um, work together like four or five or six unpleasant, unscrupulous companies that work together to undermine humanity, uh, you know, these, these conditions can work together on our body to undermine us and keep us in a place of depression. Um, so you can blame one thing, like the loss of a loved one, or, you know, uh, working at a, at a, at a, a, a you know, pharmaceutical place or, or, or a place that builds cars or there's chemicals. You can blame those things. And then it's not untrue that there are um, aspects of it, but... Uh, what caused you to work at that place? What caused you to have those conditions in which those things came to you? Again, we go back to the source. Spiritual virtue, spiritual debt. And this is not always easy for people to understand. They want to have a label. They want to be able to, to point to something very, very specific. When you deal with things at the level of origin, at the level of source, you balance the fire element. When you balance the fire element, you can think more clearly. You can start to regain your health and wellness. You have to deal with things at that level. Then you can say, okay, well, maybe there is something in my chemical components that's out of balance. Let me do a, a really good whole body purification cleanse. 
If the depressive condition is still there, you say, okay, well maybe it's an electromagnetic imbalance. That's a very real possibility. The, the EMF waves, electromagnetic frequencies that are permeating our um, physical, emotional, mental bodies today are beyond extraordinary. They're very, 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 very unhealthy for your brain. Very unhealthy. Uh, and so you then you attack that. You find protections for yourself so that those EMFs don't bother you. That alone could resolve it. Um, but you have to start at origin. Okay, so I give you this so that you don't think there's a one-stop answer for it. I can tell you 100% that a pharmaceutical chemical is not an answer. It simply um, slows down the degradation. It is simply a stopgap to give you more time. Okay, but you need to be uh, a conscientious and proactive about taking care of your physical, emotional, mental, spiritual body. Start with the spiritual. Get yourself in a leg up position and then go through. Cleanse your body. Clear your heart chakra blockages. From the spiritual perspective, depression has a very high, <clears throat> very high association with the fourth soul house, the heart chakra. There have been numerous people who have received blessings for this fourth soul house and their depressive conditions have dramatically diminished. Dramatically. Doesn't mean it's 100% gone. Remember there's other, other culprits that are affecting. But it can have a significant, significant effect. Why? If, if you get a, a high level blessing for your heart chakra, why can it have a significant effect? Because when you have um, karma, spiritual debt, uh, of the nature of the fire element. It comes to your heart center. It impacts your physical heart. It impacts your small intestine. It impacts your blood and blood vessels, which is what? How, what does your blood and blood vessels do? They, they bring you all the food and nourishment to your body. They bring the chemicals through your body. They try to coerce uh, through the very, very small capillaries in the brain. And so some of the cells, cell units, RNA, DNA, some of the smallest matter cannot get the nutrients they need because of a weakened fire element. So I'm, I'm, I'm telling you a lot of information, but I'm going to keep drawing a circle and drawing a circle and drawing a circle until you start to see the interconnectivity of it. Welcome, Tally. Welcome, Cheryl. Uh, welcome also to uh, Rhonda Garner. Welcome, Igor. Igor. Welcome, Nadia and Kristen Strachan. Aloha. Welcome, Paul Quackenbush and Pamela Karma. Welcome, and Lisa Bellavance and Liz Hernandez. Aloha and welcome. Thank you. Thank you for also sharing, letting other people know about this. I'm sure other people can appreciate this subject matter. So from the spiritual perspective and the fire element, the fire element <coughs> has direct associations. To repeat, the heart the small intestine, the veins and blood vessels, capillaries. Um, it is associated with the tongue and the and taste. And it also has associations with the emotion of depression and anxiety. Okay? There is a direct association to the fourth chakra heart center. Now, I'm a big fan of energy healing. I'm a big fan of crystals. I think they're awesome. Uh, just about anything we can do to help us with our heart center is a good thing. In my experience, however, I find that it's exceedingly, exceedingly difficult to maintain, uh, to maintain any clearing that might occur at the level of the heart using these kinds of modalities that are out there. So one can have a very powerful uh, rose-colored crystal and keep it on the heart center every night before you go to bed. And it absolutely will help you, no question about it. Uh, but during the day when you're at work, you could still find yourself in great irritation and depression. So why? Because these uh, instruments, they assist, but they do not remove things at the level of origin. Karma. So now we touch on the same subject matter the last couple of days. Depression and anxiety are heart chakra related. Your heart chakra is related to your communication to heaven and mother earth. Your heart chakra is related to your major spiritual channels. It is related to your major emotions of love, your major emotions of forgiveness. Your heart center, your fourth soul house, heart chakra, is related to 
almost every aspect of your life. It is probably the single most important energy center in your body, single most important chakra and energy center. And your heart is directly there, being impacted by it. So when we are oblivious to the interconnectivity of all this, it's not helping us. We can do things to fix the heart, but if the heart chakra or the heart center, the message center, has karmic blockages, it'll still negatively impact the heart. Vice versa, we can do blessings for the heart chakra, clear blockages. But if the heart itself still has karma, <clears throat> it could negatively impact the heart chakra. So they are not the same. The heart and the heart chakra are not the same. So it's important to address both of them when dealing with this subject of depression because both have direct associations to the fire element. Both have direct associations to releasing the, the blockages associated with um, uh, depression and anxiety. All right. So what can you do? Well, there are several things you can do. You can do forgiveness practice, obviously, and we will do that. And some of you, it's new. Some of you, I understand it. Some of you, I've done it. I've done it for years. It's not working. Okay. Uh, some of you have, I, I thank God for forgiveness practice. It saved my life. Why is there variables when we talk about forgiveness practice and varying levels of success? Well, it's likely that those that are doing it uh, on a consistent basis without the kind of results they want, they have negative mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs that are inhibiting them from getting to the depth. They're holding on to significant anger that's not allowing the wood element to release. Therefore, the fire element can release. There's variables that are not being addressed. So forgiveness is very, very hugely, hugely important. Another thing that you can and should do is do uh, uh, any form of practice to boost and build these areas. Remember, we are a soul first before we're a physical body. So the heart has a soul. Your heart chakra has a soul. Everything has a soul. And so when we do practices that are directly associated with the heart and the heart chakra, we are what? We are boosting them up. We are building them up. If you don't add gasoline to your vehicle, it will stop. If you expect your heart and your heart chakra to just run forever without any uh, gasoline, they're not going to do too well, guys, and they will stop earlier than they need to. So that's why we do practices. We boost and build them up. We will do some practices today. Another thing that you can do, of course, uh, is receive uh, special services. What are special services? They are services that pay off the spiritual debt. The spiritual debt is not caused uh, possibly by you, but it could be yours and it could be partly your ancestors. Touching on some of the subject matter of the last two days, we don't know what we may have done to others uh, that might be coming around as a boomerang, what you give is what you receive. You know, it's simple teachings that, that almost every belief system acknowledges the law of cause and effect. And so what if you or your ancestors made some very unpleasant choices and those people that were at the receiving end of those choices were very, very depressed, fearful, anxious. What if they didn't have any hope? Their loved ones were, were killed in a war. And you happen to be the one that pulled the trigger uh, or an ancestor. Um, what if your an ancestor was a land baron and you took, took uh, uh, all the monies and the taxes and everything and they had no hope? Severe depression kicked in. We don't know. We just know that if we're in a place of severe depression, then spiritually speaking, it's residing in the message center. Okay? And there's probably some mind blockages as well. They do tend to work together. So when you do your forgiveness practice, you are offsetting those spiritual debts little by little. You go into a very deep request for forgiveness for any time you or your ancestors may have uh, brought these same kinds of very unpleasant conditions upon others. When you receive a special service from a master teacher like myself, any of the 100 plus master teachers that have received these authorities, then we give a very special blessing that's very different than waving a crystal over you or, or an energy blessing. It's very, very different. One of the reasons why, it depends on the level of the blessing, but the highest level blessings that we offer, it comes with uh, a very, very large um, blessing that basically bursts in your heart center and shoots out 
lots and lots and lots and lots of darkness uh, karma that burst is called virtue that virtue is basically like money heaven's money and that heaven's money virtue pays off spiritual debt in one fell swoop Boosh. something it might take you a hundred lifetimes to pay off through very significant spiritual uh, forgiveness practice <clears throat> can happen instantly it doesn't mean the depression goes away instantly because as I said there are other variables but it does absolutely lighten the load significantly <clears throat> the second thing that is offered with these higher level blessings is a light wall protection light wall protection huge 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 not small this light wall protection is specifically designed for um, making sure that any debt that has been released that people don't come back knocking on your door wanting to create more problem for you in other words once that is blasted out of your heart chakra this light wall does not allow it to come back in very very important the third blessing that is given <clears throat> brings a karma free heart center to you a heart uh, chakra okay literally a brand new karma free chakra now there are some of you that are hearing this for the first time and they're just like I don't understand it, it makes no sense to me that's okay uh, it doesn't have to make sense to you I just know how it works and I know how to deliver the blessings okay the experience itself tells you that it works so this kind of a blessing gives you the highest leg up on releasing this kind of significant significant condition this is not a small thing so when you <clears throat> receive a divine service or a special service those are the highest and those move you on your path much further a service like that <clears throat> then positions you where you can actually bring your head above water breathe <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> drink some water and then start doing things like make sure that you're not being bombarded by EMS um, clean up your diet do special foot baths to suck the the uh, um, metals out of your body right uh, take chlorophyll do natural things that green and purify your body do the things that that uh, that also release those kinds of of um, physical world things that can negatively impact you and hold you in that depressive state but very often we do a pop and bump ourselves out of these kind of states and when it gets that heavy very very often the root is significant spiritual karma all right but now we're gonna do a practice and I'm gonna be working with this book it's called divine transformation it's master Shah's book that came out in 2010 and I'm on page 208 <coughs> of this book and this is specifically for the heart center uh, and the heart itself okay I'm going to walk you through a forgiveness practice and you'll do this with me uh, if you want to and then collectively <clears throat> we will clear some of these blockages ourselves you can always come back and watch this video and do the practice again and again there are many tools that are made available I've been using this book the last couple of days in it is special calligraphies that when you uh, follow your fingers along the flow of the calligraphy it's called tracing when you trace the calligraphy you are bringing higher frequencies into a lower frequency body where these conditions are occurring and if you do it consistently an hour or more a day then this is another way to clear spiritual blockages on your own okay understand that there are ways you can do this on your own it just takes a little bit longer than a special direct service so if you're interested in one of those special services just contact me my information is above the video <clears throat> I'll give you more information then so let's go ahead and do this practice and then we'll walk you through connecting <coughs> excuse me to um, the outer souls to the inner souls of our body and to the forgiveness itself and then we'll do the actual practice okay so let's start with our hands and soul light soul service hand position we drop the left hand in front of the heart center and the right hand gently pointed up towards heaven welcome Yolanda welcome also Kayla uh, welcome to let's see if I missed anybody Francis welcome Olga welcome John Burr and welcome Winda welcome Erica <clears throat> 
So let's place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, like a prayer position. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center. The right hand remains pointed towards heaven. And let us close our eyes. Bring our thoughts, our mind, and our breath into the lower abdomen. Breathe out. Breathe out the day. Get ready for your day in whatever case, wherever you're at. Again. Good. Okay. If it is comfortable, please repeat after me. <clears throat> Dear my beloved divine creator, Dear all humanity, all souls in all universes, I wish to sincerely apologize if I or my ancestors have made mistakes, have been selfish, brought harm or suffering to you, your loved ones, or your ancestors. If I or my ancestors have done things thoughtless things, hurtful things, if we have harmed your flourishing, harmed your relationships, harmed your financial conditions, if I or my ancestors have harmed you physically, emotionally, or been degrading towards you mentally, if I or my ancestors have done things in the past that I am not aware of, and as a result you have experienced depression, then I sincerely, from my heart and soul, apologize. I recognize that this is a possibility because I have experienced depression myself, not knowing the source or why it is stuck around. And I have come to realize that everything is cause and effect. I have come to realize that nothing is accidental. That it is possible that I or my ancestors have brought these same kind of very unpleasant conditions to others. And if we have, then from the bottom of my heart, I most humbly and sincerely ask your forgiveness. I know that to simply ask for forgiveness does not change those very unpleasant experiences you may have had. But I wish you to know that I would never, ever wish this kind of suffering upon anybody. And I have learned my lessons. If I have made those kinds of mistakes, I promise you I will not make them again. I ask for your unconditional forgiveness and sincerely apologize thank you thank you thank you and now we connect to the outer souls and the inner souls for this practice please continue to repeat if comfortable dear my beloved creator all layers of divine Tao and source all the beings of light who have promise to serve humanity. Dear my heavens team, guides, angels, and saints, I love you all, honor you all, appreciate you all. Could you please come and if appropriate, offer me blessings to release the condition of depression and balance my fire element. I would be extremely, extremely honored and grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now remember, almost all of you have downloads and treasures, so let's ask them to turn on. Repeat. Dear all my downloads and treasures, please turn on. Please bless my heart chakra and my heart. Please bless me to balance my fire element, release depression. Thank you. Now we connect to the inner souls. Remember, inside our bodies are inner souls. Continue to repeat. Dear the soul of my heart, dear the soul of my fire element, dear the soul of my fourth soul house, heart chakra, and my small intestine, capillaries, blood vessels, veins, my tongue, sense of smell, and 
the emotion of depression and anxiety. I love you. Honor you, appreciate you. You have the power to clear your blockages, to heal yourself, to balance yourself. Do a great job. Thank you. Okay. So now with one hand on your heart center, one hand over your lower abdomen, I want you to visualize in your heart center white golden light. The brightest white golden light in the center of your heart and heart center coming from 360 degrees radiating in all the beings of light have come they are residing in your heart center they are shining their light see them inside your heart center god's in there jesus in there buddha's in there all the beings of light are in there radiating their light in your heart center that's what i wish you to visualize the words that master shah uses in his book i will read them once and then we'll repeat them gain heart power thank you gain small intestine power thank you gain tongue power thank you gain blood vessel power thank you heal depression and anxiety thank you so we will chant this repeatedly while we visualize the light coming in clearing the blockages okay we've already done the forgiveness practice and so you can we're going to ask this service to also help all those we have harmed so continue to repeat dear all of the beings of light who have come i love you could you please as appropriate also bless all of the souls that i and my ancestors may have brought this same condition of depression to i am so grateful thank you thank you thank you and we invite all of these souls that we and our ancestors have harmed to chant with us to help clear these blockages. So we do it together. Let us repeat. Gain heart power. Thank you. One hand over the heart, one hand over your lower abdomen. Gain small intestine power. Thank you. Gain tongue power. Thank you. Gain blood vessel power. Thank you. Heal depression and anxiety. Thank you. Gain heart power. Thank you. Gain small intestine power. Thank you. Gain tongue power. Thank you. Gain blood vessel power. Thank you. Heal anxiety and depression. Thank you. When you say thank you, say it from your heart. Because you're who are you thanking? You're thanking heaven, Tao, Source, all the beings of light. Thank you. Again, gain heart power. Thank you. Gain small intestine power. Thank you. Gain tongue power. Thank you. Gain blood vessel power. Thank you. Heal depression and anxiety. Thank you. Gain heart power. Thank you. Gain small intestine power. Thank you. Gain tongue power. Thank you. Gain blood vessel power. Thank you. Heal depression and anxiety. Thank you. Gain heart power. Thank you. Gain small intestine power. Thank you. Gain tongue power. Thank you. Gain blood vessel power. Thank you. Gain heal depression and anxiety. Thank you. Again, gain heart power. Thank you. Gain small intestine power. Thank you. Gain tongue power. Thank you. Gain blood vessel power. Thank you. Heal anxiety and depression. Thank you. Gain heart power. Thank you. Gain small intestine power. Thank you. Gain tongue power. Thank you. Gain blood pressure power. Thank you. Heal depression and anxiety. Thank you. Now gently tap on your chest and, and tap and repeat. Heal and release depression. Balance my fire element. Heal and release depression. Balance my fire element. 
see the light. The light is all around you. All the beings of light are in your heart center. They are blasting your heart center. Heal the condition of depression. Heal and release depression. <clears throat> Balance my fire element. Thank you. Heal and release depression. Balance my fire element. Thank you. Heal and release depression. Balance my fire element. Thank you. Heal and release depression. Balance my fire element. Thank you. Heal and release depression. Balance my fire element. Thank you. Heal and release depression. Balance my fire element. Thank you. Heal and release depression. Balance my fire element. Thank you. Heal and release depression. Balance my fire element. Thank you. Heal and release depression. Balance my fire element. Thank you. Heal and release depression. Balance my fire element. Thank you. Heal and release depression. Balance my fire element. Thank you. Heal and release depression. Balance my fire element. Thank you. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like I said yesterday, Da Dao Jin, the big way is extremely simple. The heavier the condition, the more you need to do a practice like this. If no matter what practice you do, it's not going away, then there's a significant amount of blockage. It may not just be the fire element, it may not just be the heart center, it could be a mindset blockage, it could be a deep sadness and grief blockage. But do know that every time you do practice, it takes a little bit of it away. And if you're consistent and do it enough, it takes a lot of it away. It's very, very important to put all four powers together because the soul power is the most important. When you invite in all the beings of light, when you do a significant and sincere forgiveness practice, I tell you the results could be remarkable. So this is the wisdom and teachings of Dr. and Master Shah. And the four power technique uh, this is from the book divine transformation i'm on page 208 and uh, i do recommend this i recommend all his books but remember that this is one of many ways in which you can help yourself tremendously so i hope you do take advantage of uh, these opportunities um, to receive special services for these kinds of significant conditions you can get them for fear or anger in this case depression you can get the same thing for grief sadness sometimes it requires a couple of them but the higher level divine services that i mentioned earlier they are extraordinary and i would not even waste a moment uh, scrambling to get them because they will move your life forward easier better and faster now, sometimes they're miracles most of the time when it comes to emotions they, they take a lot of the pressure off and they position you where you can get the rest of your your ducks in order okay so I'm grateful for this opportunity to share this with you it is a Thursday so it's my last day of the week to serve uh, um, this live stream and so I will be back with you on Monday and I look forward to seeing you then so thank you thank you thank you I love you love you love you gong song gong song gong song Bye-bye, everybody.